and we're back. So, uh, what we did last episode was kill the demon boss, uh, talk to Sidgwerg again. Not really much, actually. What the hell? Anyhow, uh, now we're gonna talk to this guy. Well, hasn't it been some time? I'm Leonard, the Ringfinger. Remember me? I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. Was it like a long time ago? Quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. I can see it in your eyes. And he only gives it to you because you have the pale, pale tongue. Whatever would you do? Whenever you invade someone, uh, you get pale tongues, and so by getting one, he kind of thinks that you did invade someone and killed them already, but I didn't. But, you know, all the same to him. Uh, all the same to me, I mean. Uh, anywho, so... To get the red orb, you go back to the Lothric. In particular, tower on the wall. And then once you're here, you avoid fighting that guy. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice. I think there's one more guy. <laughs> I say that while I actually start, you know, aiming on site for him. So, yeah, you go down here. Again. Hmm, maybe I should level up my sword. I think it's about time, too. And this opens up now. So, all you gotta do is go down here. There's nothing else here except uh, this lift. And it takes you way down below. Obviously, look, all these, uh, these guys we struggled to kill. Just pretend that I struggled to kill these guys. Um, this guy is able to kill, like, 20 of them. So he must be tough. And I mean, he is, actually. So, let's go ahead and see if we can beat him first try. He looks like he has hair, but I think it's part of his mask. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, watch out for that attack. Rude. Oh, interesting. I didn't know I'd actually get repossed by that. Oof, that health is like terrible, dude. You need more health. I have like, I have like a hundred. I have like a thousand already. You'll fight more of those later. It just shows you how much everything's scaling up. Is um everything's getting harder. Would you thought you had everything down? Everything just increases in difficulty, making you uh, want to give up. But you know the game also levels you up so that you're prepared to uh, to fight the harder enemies. Like if I fought one of those knights now. There's like a 0% chance they would kill me. Um, just for example, I'll go ahead and fight this guy. While also fighting that guy right there. So I'll go attack him first. Let's see, look, he has less health than the other guy. See what I mean? It's just like, everything's a pushover now. So, everything has to scale up. Whoa. 
Nice. Okay. Oops. I have t I just remembered I only have sex now. Because... I'm so silly. I think those firebombs right here. Throwing knives. Now we have a new enemy. Uh, like a bird. Thing. Oh, it makes me want to level up my sword just by how much damage I had to do. Now, you want to go this way. Just because this guy will uh, ambush you if you don't kill him first. Because there's a guy over here that makes him transform. Um. I think he makes him transform. Did he die? Interesting. That didn't scare me as much as I thought it would. God. Well, that was funny. Mm. Why do I still hear him? Oh, God. What the hell? Where did she come from? Oh. Wait, did you come up there? Interesting. Anywho. Um... Mm, they're not too difficult. They just uh, spam attacks. So down here, you meet Homegirl. Hey, Homegirl. I'm so silly. You don't want to be too afraid of her because, uh,. She kind of has no poise, so as soon as you start wailing on her, she'll, uh... Just kind of like she's wailing on me. Yeah, don't let her do that. Uh... I don't know what that does. Now, it doesn't matter that she used up all my SS flask trying to fight her. Just because, um, we're gonna get a bonfire really soon. This part's, like, super small. Oh, you get the twin daggers there. I couldn't remember where you got them. Alright, I guess I didn't need the bandit's knife since you get those. Oh, wow. Well. Anyhow, um, go over here. You wanna take out this guy first. And then quickly run. Okay. So let them come to you.
I don't know how she's doing that. Oh, interesting. You get a flask. What's that up there? But yeah, that scream kind of makes them a uh, force transform. Oh, there's one left. But yeah, they have like force transform, so you're kind of um, stuck with them all spammy. And I guess that's it over here. And like I mentioned, the uh, their bonfires right here. So without further ado, just rest at the bonfire. Oh, I didn't even light it. So if I would have died, I would have I would have responded way back there. Anyhow, so talk to your new NPCs. This guy first. That's all he says. See, this girl. Oh boy. Oh, hello. How do you do? I am She's Amy, the waifu of, of this game, actually. Like it's pretty impressive. This is Horace. Even though you don't really, really see her face. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? I think you never see it. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods... Oh, I forgot my binoculars. Deep, home of the undead legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the cathedral, home of the Grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. So cute. Anyhow, um, let me fix this real quick. So binoculars. There, there it is. And then fire bombs. Then throwing knives. I think she's done talking. Oh, please don't think ill of him. He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight, a fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. Interesting. We're well along the road of sacrifices, beyond the flooded, we may go our separate the next time we may the fl We are beyond the flood, we may the next may Interesting. She only says the horse bit only once. So, down here. The things get a little bit. <sighs> Very bad. Hmm. Things get a little bit harder. In particular. Interesting. Anyways, in particular, I think they do more damage now. <laughs> he kind of gave up there. So, what you want to do first is... Go down here. Why do I have no health? I guess they didn't follow me. Oh god. What was that? Anywho. Um, next you want to... Throw a firebomb. Right here. Oops. I angled it weird. This guy has got the red eyes. So that means he's aggressive. Oh my god. I guess he doesn't have any poise. As he immediately fell over as soon as uh, I started wailing on him. 
probably shows you how powerful R1 is. What? Left click? Yeah, I guess left click. And he used to give me trouble where I'd actually have to use the summon to, uh, to fight him. But uh, he's kind of a pushover. Oh, look, there's another one. I thought there was another one. I guess that was a grab attack. The wife? Grab attack again. Well, I pretty much used up all my assets. Kinda... Bad. So... What's with all these bloodstains? Are they like bots? This game can't be active still. Anyway, so uh, there's Bla a Black Knight. From uh, the, like the first game. Pretty cool. He's uh, way easier. As you can tell. But his, I think his uh, sword is pretty good still. Like, his health bar is uh, shit. But his weapon is still something that will kill you. You bitch. That was quite rude of him, don't you think? Anyways. Um, there's nothing over here. I mean, it's a dead end over here. There's no way to progress. So that's why I would recommend doing it first. And once you get this last item, you're pretty much good to homeward bone out the fair and coal, which I guess is for Andre. So yeah, I'll go ahead and bone word out, just double checking that I got everything before I go. I think so. Mm, yeah. I guess I'll end it there, so that we can really actually dive into it next episode. Uh, so bye!